Did you guys hear? The striped bass are in. So let's go catch one for dinner. And this is where I'm fishing. I'm looking for places that could hold a little more water. I'm looking for sandbars. And then I'm looking for a trough that's in between those sandbars. Because I know striped bass like to run all along those sandbars looking for bait that have been washed up. I'm using the bait that comes from the beach. And so there's a bunch of mole crabs here, a bunch of sand crabs. Once the waves come in, it washes up a bunch of sand crabs and some of them can't burrow back into the sand in time. And what's better than natural bait, right? And it's free. All kinds of fish love sand crabs and, and they feed on these mole crabs. It's like I'm getting little nibbles or something. Yeah, I got a fish on. Perch. Got a small surf perch. Nice little fish. This is a barred surf perch. A bit on sand crabs. This guy's gonna be pretty lucky, I'm gonna let him go. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. That's a striper. Oh, that's a big one. That's a nice one. That's the striper I was looking for right there. That's the striper I was looking for. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one. Swimming toward me. Oh man, slammed it. I was out there looking for sand crabs. This thing slammed it. close in the surf oh there he is He's riding that wave coming in Oh my god, he's not... Push him in with this wave. Oh my god, he's a fighter. There he is, right there. It's a nice one. That's a nice one right there. Now that's a nice striper right there. That's what I'm talking about. Right there, look at that. Barely hooked. It didn't even hook him. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Barely, barely hooked him. Look. Didn't even go through. Yeah. Ah, I just splashed him in the face. Wow, it hooked him on the outside of the lip. That hook is not even in its mouth. I don't know if you can tell. It's on the outside corner. Oh man, yeah. It's a striped bass. Oh, okay, nice. Soft shells? Soft shells, man. Oh, yeah. Man. What about you? Yeah, just like hard ones with eggs. Yeah, I mean, those were, I feel, but I feel like they just hit the soft shells. Somehow, I feel like they know. Yeah, yeah like the fish caught those. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Pops out right there. Right on the corner. I slammed it so hard though. That's the striped bass we're going for, baby. That is a nice striped bass. They definitely fought and it was definitely fun. So these guys need to be 18 inches to be legally kept in California. From zero to about 24 and a half. You know that? That's the beautiful striped bass I was going for, baby. 24 and a half inches. Good size to eat. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's a striped bass. Wow. Hi, buddy. Wow. Hey. Oh, you got to put in that too now. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. Oh. But yeah, I'll, I'll cook it up later. How many pounds? Hey, two pounds? Ooh, no, more than two pounds. Oh, yeah. I caught that striped bass at the beach. Put it out here. That's a big striper right there. 24 inch striper right there. <laughs> this is the biggest cutting board I have. Damn it. I'm gonna scale it first. When it's all scaled, you could see like a, a net, a mesh work of, of what used to hold the scales together. You could brush them the other way and it kind of has another pattern brush them back and it has that lattice like network pattern and then you can tell the difference between you know this which still has the scales and this which doesn't and when you handle these fish careful they do have spines and if they poke you it will hurt and here you have that fillet of that striper without any of that belly meat. Now I'm gonna take this filet and cut into nice sized chunks. So I got my steaks there. I'm gonna pat them dry with the with a napkin or something. And then I'm gonna salt them up, leave them in the fridge for like half an hour. It's supposed to make the fish a little juicier. Salt them up real good. And then into the fridge they go. I know some of you guys are just as interested as I am to find out what this striped bass has been eating. That is a really full stomach. It's hard. It looks like there might be even a fish in there. I feel like, I feel like there's going to be a sand crab in here. It's super hard. Huh. Guess what? It's a sand crab. Hard shell. That's what was in there. That's why it was actively... I mean, this looks so fresh. It looks like I just picked it out from... Don't tell me it's... No way, is it still moving? It's so fresh that this sand crab might possibly still be alive. See if it moves. See that? It's still alive. In its stomach. It must have just got eaten up and then I caught it. But that is nuts. These mole crabs, man. I'm telling you. Striped bass just cannot resist. Let's see what else. Oh, that's a worm. Is that a worm? No, that's a fish. Look at this. It's like a fillet. It's like a fillet of a little fish. Now I'm just gonna take a clove of garlic and then dice it up. I've got my fillets here. I'm going to choose two nice pieces. Like this one, skin down. And you want to score the skin so it doesn't curl. Garnish with the lemon, add some greens, and this is the finished product. Oh yeah. All right, let's do this. Let's try this fish. Let's squeeze a little bit of lemon on there. Yeah. Let's see if it flakes off. Comes apart real easily. Oh man. Here was my first bite. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is the juiciest fish I've had in a while. Goodness. It might have been because I salted the fish and put it in the fridge for half an hour before cooking it. I heard it makes it maintain its juiciness. And god, this fish is juicy. Hmm. Wow. 
It was a really good striped bass. You guys have to try that with fish. Salt it and let it sit for a bit. Man, it is so juicy. Crazy. I'm sure you guys have had dry fish before. And even though fish is good, if it's dry, mm, and, and it's because I cooked it with the skin on. So the skin serves as an insulator and it allowed that fish to keep all those juices inside. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I gotta try that. Wow. Wild striped bass right in my backyard. Not really, but literally city, ocean. Right there. Catch it, come back, cook it for dinner.